Hi guys, this is your boy Martin and today brand new full LED tail light for your Canon Spider F3, F3S and special series all years, so 2015 up to present. This tail light will bring you finally deserved look of modern bike for your Canon Spider F3. Not only that, it will also bring you extra visibility and safety. It is daylight, brake light, and a turn light as well. However, today's installation is for everyone. It's a plug and play installation, and this is very important. In case you do not have these extra turn lights, so usually in America or Canada, uh, this light with plug and play installation will automatically work as a brake light, daylight, and turn light signal. So the same functionalities that you have at the moment. For us, so Europe, Australia, New Zealand, Asia, this light with this type of installation will work as a brake light and a daylight. I'm preparing for you, and if it's popping up somewhere, I'm preparing for you an extra video, extra installation, where we will activate also for us the turn signal functionality with keeping the extra turn lights or removing them, but that's for later. And of course, you can buy it on martindevlogger.com slash shop, your number one place in the world for Canem Spider and Riker parts. Now, enough of this, let's get started. Remove the seat or mono seat call by pushing the key and turning it to the right. Unhook it from the strap and put it on the side. Make the stock tail light loose by undoing six bolts, one, two, three, four, five, and six. Remove your stuck tail lights one by one by removing the corner bolts. Unplug in the cable that goes from the bulb and unhooking it from the bike. So this way you can remove the whole light at once all together with not needed cable and the bulb. Grab these aluminium clips, uh, three goes on each light where you see the holes and they must go, they must face this um, thing that sticks out, out from the light. So this way, slide both of the new LED tail lights in, including the cables. Make sure they are all the way in on the edge so they fit nice and tidy. Put back all the bolts. Securing the lights use provided bolts with washers and it's recommended to use a little bit of thread lock that it's not part of the packaging. and connect all of the cables that you have unplugged. In order to make the area a little bit more tidy and hide these resistors, we need to uh, use these brackets that they are provided in packaging. So remove the rider seat, two bolts needs to be undone. Grab this metal bracket and have it turned with the holes on the bottom. Take two metal clips Put them on top, 
take one of your resistors, slide it in, take two bolts and two end caps and secure the resistor. It's recommended to put it on this area, uh, but basically use your imagination. Uh, I use it behind this plastic cover because it fits nicely. Uh, just a little bit of force, it's, it's needed to be used. Of course, this setup is made on purpose to demonstrate to you uh, what are the possibilities with this taillight. Uh, in the US, as I said at the beginning, plug and play installation will work as a daylight, brake light and a turn light signal. Uh, in Europe, Australia, Asia and New Zealand, uh, it will work as a daylight and the brake light and you will keep your turn light signals on the side. The video that I'm working on uh, will also allow, again, the regions that they have these rather ugly looking turn light signals uh, to activate this tail light as a turn light as well. That's the video that it's coming shortly. If it's already available, it's popping out. And now guys, thank you very much for watching. In case you like what I do, subscribe, like, have the notifications on and please write whatever comments you like because that way we will keep our community growing and this amazing channel growing. Thank you very much for watching and remember, buy yourself a brand new taillight on martindevlogger.com slash shop or not, well, buy it. <laughs> and always have fun installing it.